My name is Glenn Pang. I've been shaping for TNC Surf for 40 plus years. This model is the CMG, or we call it the Flux. It's pretty much our all around everyday shortboard. It's available either in a thumb tail or a squash tail. On this particular board, we actually have a thumb tail or round tail. Um, the difference between the round tail and the squash tail, thumb tail has less area, so it will actually sink a lot more than a squash tail. If you have a squash tail on the board, the board tends to give you more projection out, whereas the thumb tail would sink quicker and be more top to bottom. So normally, like, it's better for like a little better wave, more skies, but everyone's different. There's some guys who ride like round tails, even when the waves are small. But for the most part, majority of the guys would ride like a squash tail when the, um, the waves are on the smaller side. There's the more pinny round pins, like more pointy ones would be for like a bigger wave, would, which would give you more bite and more hold on a bigger wave. Whereas this is still like a short board, you still kind of want the release off the top. This is our Dragonfly model. It's our Groveler. Uh, has a pretty wide tail, carries a lot of volume through the whole board. This board has tons and tons of speed. Now the board does have an extra wide tail to help um, give you more buoyancy in the smaller waves. You don't want the board to be too sinking, especially if you're riding like waist high, knee high waves. So we, it does have like a super wide squash tail, which helps you stay above when the waves are small. But like if you look at the back half, it's straighter because the tail is so wide. So straight is always speed. Round, if it had like a rounded tail, it's looser. And we have like a wider hip, wider tail, which actually keeps the board above the water more, more speed. This is our HRT model. It is available swallowtail or a thumb tail. On the swallowtail, it actually has like a, a hip, a break right here in the outline, which actually helps pivot the board. And it does have a swallowtail in the back of this one. Um, difference between a swallowtail and a round tail. Swallowtail, I would say, is probably somewhere in the middle of a squash tail and a thumb tail. It has the area of a squash tail, but then if you look, it has, because it has a swallowtail, it's actually acting like two small mini pintails, which actually helps the board sink a little bit more and bite a little bit more with the swallow. So you have, I would say, for some guys who like swallowtails, the best of both worlds. So you have the, the area of the squash tail, but sinkability of a round tail. Okay, we have our Sinner model right here. It is our small wave twin fin. So on the Sinner, we actually have a definite wing swallowtail. So this one actually has a straighter outline here, which actually helps you gain more speed with the straighter outline. And the wing here would actually help the board break or it's a release point for when you turn. Swallowtail would actually help give you more bite on your turns. So it actually sinks a lot more. Even though the tail is pretty thick, you can sink it because it has this, the swallowtail which actually bites when you do your turns. Thumbtail would sink quicker and be more top to bottom. Better for like a little better wave. Squash tail on the board, the board tends to give you more projection out, give you more buoyancy in the smaller waves. Majority of the guys would ride like a squash tail when the waves are on the smaller side. Swallow tail, acting like two small mini pintails. That's a boat world. So you have the, the area of the squash tail, but sinkability of a round tail. And the wing here would actually help the board break or it's a release point. You can sink it because it has this, the swallowtail which actually bites when you do your turns. 